Shepherd Piling is a very exciting company. Every day is completely different and every day produces a different challenge for us. We're a small to medium sized piling company, but our USP is personal service and also the more specialist work that you can see here on the Taylor Wimpy site. The brief for this project is a very challenging job. It's not your usual house build site. The part of the site that we're involved in, in the lower field, involves basically building a large residential development on the side of a slope. The scope of works is 1,500 circa poles. They're varying diameter to 350 mil for the bearing poles. Some of the contiguous poles are 300 millimetres, but the majority of the contiguous poles are 600 diameter. The key was to keep moving. So we worked a sequence where we could work across the site to free up the space so that it gives the relevant other areas time to cure and allow the works to continue seamlessly. It's been very, very challenging, and nevertheless, it's a very, very large civil engineering project for, for its end use. As Shepherd Pilot, the very first thing we do is get the inquiry. Then we evaluate the inquiry, which, which is really, really important. You have to consider resource, and you have to consider skill sets, and you have to consider program times as well. Then when all the boxes are ticked by us, then we can quite successfully say, OK, we're tender or we will pass for your job because we know we can do it. We like to nurse relationships and build relationships by coming up with the ideas, utilising different kit that the rest of the industry doesn't have and adapting to situations where you wouldn't normally do a traditional route. This piling on this job is, in particular, a good example of that. In terms of piling now and ground engineering, sites have become a lot more restricted they require more flexible management, flexible companies that can fit into their cultures and their projects a lot better. And I think this is where Shepherd Piling does certainly set itself apart. 